Welcome once again to Prismatics Online class. In this class, we are going to look at uh, the nature, the nature of the roots of quadratic equation. We have explained all about quadratic equation. In our previous class, we explained the, the meaning of quadratic equation, the method of the application of quadratic equation, the method of solving quadratic equation, which is by almighty formula, uh, by completing square method, by uh, factorization method, by uh, general formula or almighty formula, or we call it quadratic formula. Today, we are going to look at the nature of what uh, of the roots of what quadratic equation. Okay, in this place, let's go. Okay, let us go. Um, the solution of the general equation ax squared plus bs plus c equal to zero is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Where d is equal to b minus 4ac is called discriminant since it determines the nature of the root. We have about three methods of what determine the nature of the root of the word quadratic equation. One is what we call distinct ray root, or we call it what different ray root. This is the situation whereby when you solve after solving, you get different ray root. Okay, now I'm going to say, let's go. If the quadratic quadratic has two distinct ray roots, then d will be greater than zero. If it has what two ray roots, assume it three and four, or three and what five. So they are different, they are distinct root. The the the, the disc, discriminant will be what greater than zero. In other words, you get something like one, two, three, four up. Okay. D equal to minus B. D equal to B square minus 4AC greater than zero or B square greater than 4AC. Okay. Distinct root, distinct ray roots implies that the quadratic curve intercepts the S axis twice. The quadratic curve will pass or meet S axis at what? In, in two different points. The curve will now cross S axis in two different forms. Okay. If alpha and beta, assume that alpha and beta are the roots, are the real distinct roots, the nature of the curve is as shown below. Now let's see. B minus 4 AC is greater than what? Zero. Case one. If A is greater than zero, your curve will be like this. When you plot it, your curve will look like this. It will cut across this and across this. So that is the curve. So we have alpha and what? Beta. They will cut across this. That is when A is what? Greater than one. That is greater than zero. That is when A is a positive numbers. You get such curve graph and it will cross this place, alpha and beta. But case two, if um, A is less than what? Uh, if A is uh, la less than zero, we now have that the graph, graph will be a, con uh, a convex graph, whereby we have alpha and what? Uh, beta are uh, cut across the S axis. So this case two shows the convex graph, while case one shows what? The concave graph. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's look at uh, uh, equation solution. Let's look at equation. Question one. Determine the nature. Determine the nature of the equation 
below. It I mean what? The nature of what? The equation what? Below. We are going to look at it. The nature of the equation below is this. X square minus 7X plus 10 equal to 0. We are going to check whether after solving this, whether the answer that we are going to get will be greater than 0. Solution. Recall that the discriminant is equal to B square minus all AC. And our A, from here, our where A equals to what? 1. B equals to what? Minus 7. And C equals to what? 10. So substituting it here, we have that D is equal to uh, minus 7 square minus 4 times what? 1 times what? 10. So we have that D is equal to 49 minus 4 times 1 times 10 will give us 40. I will have that D is equal to what? 9. And 9 is greater than 0. So it's a positive number. So this is what? It has what? Uh, distinct root. So this equation on the board has what we call distinct ray root because the, 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 the discriminant is greater than 0. If assuming that after solving this, we get something like minus 9, it means that the discriminant is less than 0. It is not distinct ray root. But because the, the discriminant 9 is greater than 0, it is called what? Distinct ray root. Thank you, and God bless you. In our next class, we are going to treat about complex ray root and uh, equal ray root. Follow us. God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prismatis Online Class. Bye.